What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and today we're finally going to talk about souls. So we're going to go to collection, soul, to view all the soul sets. And you can see we have 31 souls in total. Let's go all the way to the end. Um, we're going to do this by the order that they've set. Right, uh, it, it's not an alphabetical order, it's just, um, I don't know, I don't know, they, they put it up like that. So the first, so, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. before we start, disclaimer, this is not a soul guide, no. I'm just going to talk about the two-piece and four-piece effects of the soul and whether I think that it should be used or whether it's popular or not. That's it, you know. It's debatable, what I say might not be, might not be true. I mean, you can you can comment down below if I make any mistakes, which I'm sure I definitely will make some mistakes. So you you can just leave a comment down below and and see whether that um, you know like you can just comment down below on on what it is that I I messed up on. So yeah, first one, we're pearl two piece is defense bonus thirty percent, which I'm I'm not, I'm not big a fan of, of this defense bonus two piece. I mean. There will be sets where we will talk about like like effect res. That's that's a better two piece effect. Uh, effect hit. That's also a great uh, two piece effect, especially for your if you're running a CC team. Um, what else? There's crit percent where it's great for your damage dealer, especially if you can't hit 100% crit rate yet. But if you can already move, have 100% crit rate, then you want to move on to attack percent. What else? Uh, defense HP bonus is great for your tanks. Great for your healers. Uh, attack bonus yeah you, you go like if you can already hit 100% crit rate then move on to a two piece set of attack bonus kind of thing uh, HP bonus uh, defense HP effect hit effect rest okay that's all the two piece sets that we can talk about alright so now pearl four piece bonus when healing an ally it creates a shield that absorbs damage equal to 25% of the HP heal the shield lasts one turn all right, that's pretty cool. Like, um, I don't know if I would actually use it because, like, this would mean that I would actually like need to wait till my healer moves, and then she needs to heal, and then I would have the shield. So then I have to wait for the enemy's onslaught against me. So like, I'd rather kill off the team than have this shield waiting. So. And, and waiting for the enemy to come. I don't know. I'm not going to use it. You guys might use it. I would not. Personally, I won't use it. Second one, we have the Dice Sprite. Two piece is effect res 15%, which I would say effect res two piece is pretty useful, you know, for healers, for for Shuzu, for, for Ibisu, for, for Hito, whatever. So you don't want to be CC'd. Um, the four piece set counters one random target with a normal attack when resisting an effect. This normal attack deals 50% more damage. So it's a counter soul. Alright. Um, unlike Scarlet, it's 100% prop rate, except that you have to resist an effect. There's not many CC teams running currently. So, and even if they run CC team, like, what's the chances of you resisting an effect? I might as well take my bets with the Scarlet soul set. It's okay, but. I think I'd rather use the Scarlet Soul set rather than this. Moving on, we have Sea Sprite, which is a two-piece effect hit percent. It's pretty cool. Four-piece set produces a shield at the start of battle that lasts one turn. This the shield lets all allies absorb damage equal to ten percent of HP. Okay, let's think about this. You produce a shield at the start of battle that lasts one turn, right? And it lets the shield is 10% of the ally's HP and it only lasts one turn so if you're going first you probably don't want to have this set on because like if you're going first and your whole team moves and it only lasts for one turn it's gone right so if your team is going second right then this will probably be pretty useful I might use it, maybe, but I don't have the Souls for it right now. Alright, moving on, we have Temptress. 2-piece defense bonus 30%, 4-piece grants 25% chance of inflicting Confuse on target when dealing damage. Pretty cool CC set, right? Of course, this is 
25% plus effect hit. Uh, there, there's a big, big, big discussion about what effect hit against effect res is and everything, which I would link in the description of the formula to that. Uh, I think it's a formula to that, or there, there is some lengthy explanation to it. I'll link it. I'm not going to talk about that right now. We're just going to go about uh, the soul function, uh, the the soul, the description of the source. That's it, right? Pretty cool. I think this is the first CC one. I think there's six CC souls in total, and I uh, there's six CC souls in total. I think this is pretty cool. Confuse is is, is a pretty cool thing where it allows that target. Like when when you confuse the target, right? Then that when you confuse an enemy, the enemy would then have a chance to like hit his allies or like does some weird damage to you or something like it would not be like the full skills and stuff i mean i don't know i'm like there is something to it i don't know the full description but when i was hit with confused i hit my own allies that's what i know and this this pretty much what we're going to talk about today is my observations from the game and um well it's pretty much my observations from the game so far I don't face many CC teams, that's also because I haven't been dueling much, I've just been doing EXP farming, like trying to get my next G6 and so on. But never mind, moving on, we have one of the most popular sets in the game, Seductress, uh, which has a two-piece crit chance. Um, again, this is really great, like two-piece set crit chance is really great if you do not have the crit chance necessary for the Seductress proc. So the Seductress set, the four-piece, what it does is it grants a 40% chance of inflicting damage equal to... 10% of the target's max HP when landing a crit. It's up to 120% of your own attack. So let's use my Tengu for example. He has about 8k total attack. 120% um, of that is 9.6k. Then obviously I would have like a bunny buff or Kamitachi attack buff or semi attack buff. So bringing it up to like 10k for a seductress proc. So that means like, like my Utengu is a multi-hitter. There is a 40% chance of inflicting 10k, 10% of the target's max HP. Let's say we, we're going to use like um, Orochi 10. Orochi 10 is like 99,000 HP. So let's say it's 100,000 HP. So if there is a seductress proc, then it would be written there in white. Let's say it'd be like between 8k, 9k, 10k. So mine would be like 10k something, right? Um, yeah, so it'd be like... Utengu has 4 hits, so each hit has a 40% chance of inflicting that extra 10k damage. Pretty cool. Pretty cool set. Like, I mean, like, a lot of people use it. Um, most people recommend this as a good starter set for all your first AOE DPS, like Ubumi, Utengu, Yotohime. Although there is, like, Yotohime, you can have many different builds, you know, like, um, but Seductress can be one of it. Moving on, we have... Senecio, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, I've seen people use this in Samurai X and some of their tanks. Uh, pretty useful set. Two piece is effect res, very useful. Four piece grants a 25% chance, I'm not gonna read this thing, of inflicting daze on the target for one turn when taking damage. So daze is stun, alright? I've been hit by this set many times, you know? Where I fight someone, then my some, where 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 I run a I run a single DPS comp uh, most of the time. Where I run like, double pulls, Ashiki, my Utengu, and then I run a Hito just to counter like if somebody was faster and doing like a, gonna Utengu me. So when I Utengu them, I get hit by this. Then my Kagura, like when it comes to my turn again, I'm like, the hell do I do? You know, because I'm now stunned, and if I give him a turn you know he's still gonna be stunned and then he'll be out of that state but yeah this is pretty useful you can use it on your tanks you can use it on shuzu you can use it on ibisu your healer or whatever it is pretty useful set pretty popular too um, of course it's also affected by effect hit and you know like um, if they have taunt minus 60 percent. i don't know what that means man Moving on, we have Snow Spirit. <coughs> I think this is the second. Yeah, we're going to take second CC set. Why am I talking about all these CC sets? Because CC sets are going to be pretty crucial in the game, I think. And a lot of people are starting to run Fire Rain team, which I will talk about in the next video. Um, I'm not going to run a Fire Rain team myself because I don't think I would have the speed souls for it. But yeah, I will talk about it later on. But this is the second CC set. 
that we have on our, our you know like moving forward currently this the second cc set we have so far right two piece defense bonus 30 percent eh. four piece grants 12 percent plus effect hit chance of inflicting freeze on the target when dealing damage cool freeze can be dispelled though it's easily dispelled it's not as easy days is not easily dispelled uh it's okay i personally won't use it i guess because it's only a 12 percent plus a fair hit chance you know it's too low next we have jizzle uh, i'm using jizzle on uh, hito right now so you can use this in your tanks you can even use this in your healer you can use this on shuzu two piece set hp bonus great four piece creates a shield absorbing damage equal to 10 percent of max hp when taking a crit so especially when how most of the people are running crit chance build like 100% crit with seductors and stuff this can be pretty useful you know has a 30% chance of shielding allies and it's 12% chance if taunted but yeah it's pretty much straightforward creates shield when taking crit and has a 30% chance of shielding allies cool moving on nightwing two piece attack bonus 15% Four piece converts 20% of damage dealt into HP. So it's like a vampire effect. Um, when you deal damage, 20% of the damage is converted back into HP. Pretty cool. Am I gonna use it? I'm probably not gonna use it, but people can use it if they want to, like if they want to use it for PvE and stuff. But I guess currently it's better off to just use your shadow set or your seductor set for your DPS. Moving on, we have Holy Flame. 2-piece is HP bonus 15%, 4-piece restores HP by 15% at the end of a turn when HP is less than 30%. I've used this on Zashiki, it worked, uh, it works, alright, it works, <laughs> not that it worked and now it's not working, no, it, it does work. I think that, you know, Azure is a much better set for Zashiki, uh, but early game you can use this, like, you know, for your tanks or whatever that you need, like, you can just, like, tank up your your guys with like all three pieces of the holy flame you know all six pieces of holy flame or like holy flame and two offsets or whatever it is and if you're about to die then you know it, it heals by 15 percent it's okay but probably moving on you're not going to use it anymore next off we have sami sen two piece crit percent four piece increases speed of control allies by 30. So I was cheated by this set initially. I thought it was exactly the Summoner's War Swift set where, you know, when you put it on and you get speed. Apparently not. Apparently it just increases the speed of your allies who are under a controlled state. That means in a debuff state, like maybe in Daze or Confuse or Sleep or Freeze, right? Or Taunted, right? So what happens if, if you're in any of these states? Uh, the, the speed is increased by 30 so that you can get out of that control state quicker which is pretty cool still I mean like moving forward if there's a lot of CC teams then you can use this definitely definitely you can use this like when, when there are more control teams around but right now I think um, just leave them be first when, once there's more CC teams in the game then yeah this could be useful now we, next we have Mimic Two piece effect res 15%. Four piece grants 25% chance to inflict a random debuff on target when dealing damage. Now, 25% chance of inflicting a random debuff is cool, uh, but the problem is it's a random debuff. You know, it could be freeze, it could be daze, it could be confused, it could be defense break, could be a tech down or something. Um, I'm, well, I'm not even sure whether there's a tech down in this game. But yeah, this is, I guess, if I wanted to make a CC team, I would probably use this set because it's 25% chance, you know? Moving on, we have Boroboroton. I'm not even sure whether I'm pronouncing that right. This is like the first, I think it's the first, the first soul set you get in the game. Hold up, hold up. One sec, let's, let's, let's see whether I'm right. Let's see whether I'm right. Explore. Chapter 1. Yeah, it is, it is. Like, like the first zone, chapter one. That is is the, the first map. You get this Boroboroton um, soul. Where were we? Collection souls. Boroboroton. 
yeah um, damage taken decreased by 30% pretty cool I mean for early game you probably have a lot of this so you can just like soul up like like I'm talking about early early game like level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 kind of thing right you will probably have a lot of these so you can just put this on your guys and like decrease the damage taken because you know the enemies probably do more damage than you they probably dish out more damage than you can take so yeah it's pretty cool obviously don't put it on your dps right i mean like you put it on your other supports that you want never mind you get what i'm saying <laughs> moving on we have fortune cat two piece defense bonus four piece grants a 50 percent chance of gaining two orbs at the start of a turn pretty cool i, I use this on my kamatachi i use this on my rabbits um i do excuse the birds right I, I stay in a tropical country so i'm usually not conscious of their sounds that they make but when i'm on discord chat then people are like dude you know why are your birds making so much noise and i'm like it's not mine and i just happen to have birds running around and i have my windows open and stuff yeah i should probably close my windows and all and have a better soundproof room but it is how it is like I do apologize, like I hope that the sound of birds like calms you down, you know, like takes you away from that city life kind of thing. But yeah, I digress. Fortune Cat, pretty popular set. 50% chance of getting two orbs at the start of a turn, every time they get a turn. So basically every time Shigigami gets a turn, that's a 50% chance of getting two orbs. Especially when you have no idea of how to manage orbs or when you are, when you need orbs. This is a very, very useful set. Yep, I use this set a lot. Moving on, we have Shy Soul. 2 piece defense bonus 30%. 4 piece grants a 23% chance of inflicting sleep on target for 1 turn when dealing damage. I mean, it's not a bad rate. 23% plus effect hit. Cool, I mean, like, there, there's a math to it, right? 23%, let's say you have effect hit of um, 50%. Right, 23% plus 50% does not equal to 73%. There is a longer, more complicated math to it. Like, I'm not going to go into it because I personally don't know how the calculation works. I just don't bother because I'm not going to run a CCT myself. But when I do learn about it, I will be sure to share with you all. Like, Mega Shields, AU, Shredder, everybody else knows the, the effect hit calculation at the back of their hand. I don't know because I personally don't care. Right? Because uh, <laughs> I'm not going to run a CCT. Uh, but if I do want to run CC team, I will do all my best to to investigate and to to learn about it, and I'll I'll share it with you guys. But for now, I'll, I'll just leave a link in the description for the calculation. For I think there's a site that had the calculations for it. I'll, I'll just leave a link in the description. But 23% chance of activation is not bad, I guess, to put sleep. But rather than sleep, I rather have days or or mimic or confuse. So what is this? This is like the third one, right? Third CC suit set, I think. Uh, Mimic. Snow Spirit. Temptress. So it's like Temptress is one. Snow Spirit is two. Mimic is three. Shy Soul is four. This is the fourth CC soul set. So there's a lot of, of CC sets, right, in this game. Moving on. We have Soul Taker. Two piece attack bonus 15%, not bad. Four piece grants a 20% chance of gaining one extra move after performing an action. So if you played Summoner's War, this is exactly your violent set. Except that in this game, violent set, the proc rate is pretty low. It's not as good as the violent set in uh, Summoner's War. So I guess that kind of makes it like not a popular set. But I have seen like Soul Taker, y Yoto Himes, and they like they work really well and they can just like wipe your team if they move again. Pretty cool. Pretty cool set. I mean like if, if you do want to use it, use it. I personally, after using it for a bit, felt that it was a bit mediocre, so the 20% I mean, chance is really low. I'm not going to use it. Moving on, we have Dawn Fairy. Another CC set. So this is the 5th CC Soul set, right? 2 piece defense bonus, 4 piece. I don't know why. Like, I mean, like, why can't the 2 piece be like effect hit or something like that? You know, if it was effect hit and, and with the CC set, it would make more sense. But most of these souls, if you take a look, it's mostly our defense bonus. Like, for their two piece four piece grants a 20 percent chance to delay targets move bar by 30 percent when dealing damage this chance is increased by 10 percent when target has a buff cool i mean it's usable um not, not just that it's usable i mean obviously it's usable but probably usable for like multi hits because like you think about it right like like if tengu like hits four times and uses this that's like you 
delay their move by by, by about 40 percent that means they, they you put down their move bar to zero which is pretty cool like I, as for a cc set uh for a cc team i think this is pretty op too moving on we have mirror lady which i kind of liked uh, i've dropped this set already i used to put this on hito so two piece hp bonus four piece has a 30 percent chance of reflecting back 100% of the damage received. I'm sure you've been screwed by this before when you go and hit somebody and your DPS just dies and you have no way to come back from that. Right? Pretty, pretty useful. It's straightforward. 30% chance of reflecting back. I mean, if it doesn't reflect, then you're probably dead. <laughs> but if it does reflect, then, you know, your enemy is dead when they when when you move second kind of thing moving on priestess hp bonus 15 percent grants an eight percent plus effect hit chance of inflicting days on target when dealing damage i would think that this set would be pretty popular because days days is stun right um there is a whole calculation oh i've already mentioned that part i don't have to mention it again thank god um it's all right i just think the chance is pretty low too low for my liking people might just take it and just leave it to RNG and maybe it might work you know next up we have Scarlet another popular soul set you know two pieces attack bonus 15% four piece grants a 35% chance of using a normal attack to counter when taking damage now let's compare Scarlet back to the start where we have dice sprite right this one is a hundred percent counter chance but only when you resist an effect right while this one is a 35% chance to counter when you take a damage. I think Scarlet would be the better counter set as opposed to... What was it called again? Dice Sprite, right? Uh, because the, the thing is, how many counter teams are you going to fight? But how many Utengus are you going to fight? If you're going to fight Utengus, right? That's four, four, four times, right? So you every time the, the, the Utengu hits, which is four times, right? You have a 35% chance to, to counter. Right? And you can even counter like one time, two time, three time, four time. You know, like like if you're lucky, then you do four counters and that Utengu is dead. Which I have been countered before by the Inugami. Yeah, so Scarlet Sets, you can use them on Shoot and Doji, you can use it on Inugami, you can use it on Vampira. Um, who else? Not sure, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, next one is Azure, Azure Basan. I'm not sure whether I'm saying this right, but I've googled Azure before and that's how it's pronounced, supposedly. My pronunciation might be bad, you know, because English is supposedly not my first language, but I might seem to just speak English all the time. Never mind. 2-piece set is effect hit 15%, 4-piece set is grants 3 extra orbs at the start of each battle, including the start of each round. So, that's if you're doing PvP, that's one battle though, there, there's no many rounds in PvP, you know, there's only one round, right? Uh, but the start of each round is kind of like when you're going through like Secrets or Sogunbi or Orochi, it's like there's, there's 3 rounds to the battle, like the um, Soul 10 would be like... The first round, second round, then after that is the boss round kind of thing. So yeah, uh, I have Azure currently on my Zashiki. Pretty popular one. A lot of people use it. You can also use it on your Fodders. Right, wait, wait, wait. One more thing before we move on to House Imp, right? So you can also like put Azure sets on your Fodders, like when you're farming. Uh, you can put it on your two Fodders, like, like one set each. And then your DPS will have the available orbs for him to run his skills. Next, House Imp, 2 piece is attack bonus 15%, 4 piece deals an extra 30% damage when target is in a controlled state. Oh, this is pretty interesting, right? I mean, when you think about it, right? If you're going to run Fire Rain team, which uh, I'll, pro I'll probably do a video one of these days about a Fire, fire Rain team, like I need to wait for like Shredder to come because he is one who has a successful Fire Rain team. Um, I haven't been dueling much, so I don't know, but, but for my guildmates, like, he's the only one that has it. Um, what I think is, this is pretty cool. Like, Fire Rain basically consists of Kamaitachi moving first. So he makes uh, the pull. Then after that, um, your army owner moves. Uh, then she then debuffs the enemy. 
then um, it's either your zashiki or your or your hoga that moves. So if it's your hoga that moves, if hoga moves next, what she does is she then dazes everyone. All right. So she dazes like the AOE daze. Everyone is dazed. Then your zashiki moves. Then your damage dealer moves. So say you get Utengu then after that. If everybody is stunned, this attack will deal 30% more damage. However, the Seductress might be better, or the Shadow might be better. I don't know. I mean, I think this is pretty cool, but again, it all depends on your gameplay. You know, you need to test this uh, on paper. It looks like it's pretty cool. But yeah. It might be useful, might not be. Moving on, we have Soul Age. Uh, this is getting pretty popular. You know, the, um, the one where, where you suddenly try to hit somebody with your Ibaraki, and suddenly this one Shigigami just jumps in front of that target and like your Ibaraki does trash damage instead. Alright, that's because of Soul Edge. Alright, uh, two piece set is HP bonus 15%, four piece is 50% chance of reducing one ally's damage received from a single attack by 20% and shares 50% of the damage. You know, straight up can be used for all your tanky tunes. Right? You, you can put this on Shuzu, you can put this on Momo, you can put this on Ibisu, you can put this on Hito, you can put this even on Samurai X. Whomever you want to put it on. I'm just giving examples of people that I use. Because then it will be relevant to my channel. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, this is pretty pretty useful. Although it's 50% chance, but I have fought some people who have really good RNG. RNG, RNG just blesses them. You know, every time I try to hit them and their Soul Edge just has a 100% prop rate for them. And when I use my team with Soul Edge, you know, like, I have a 0% chance of rocking. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, this is a pretty cool set, pretty popular set, a lot of people use it. Moving on, we have Watcher. Which two pieces, attack bonus 15% and a four piece is deals an extra 50% damage against units with less than 30% hit points. I had a whole, like, there was this long conversation between myself, Mega Shields, and AU, another one of my guildmates, and, and also Prince Apple, Princess Apple. Well, um, it, it's, in theory, the 50% against lower than 30% HP is much better than the Shadow set, but somehow from all the testing that we did, it seems like Shadow does more damage than the Watcher, because it's it's easier said than done, you know, to get units less than to less than thirty percent health. You know, it's easier said than done to get units to less than thirty percent health uh, when we when you run double pool and double damage dealer. That is, so yeah. Um, I don't know you can use this for your own testing. Some people, you know, they swear that this set works, but for me, it's a pretty tough situation to do. To, to like to to stage it to a point where your second DPS moves when no probably at lower levels it'd be much easier like like the first one you use Utengu like Utengu moves first does his whole AOE right and then he brings them low enough to like let lower than 30% then your second DPS runs the watcher you know that could work that would definitely work but at higher level it's difficult to like in a single turn move people to lower than 30% HP, you know, it's either it's either you run an Ibaraki, you move in, you kill everyone or you know, you get reflected back and you die or never mind, I mean like, I think this is still useful still but we had a whole conversation that day, it's not as good but I guess it depends on the situation that you're in next up, we have Trinimth uh, Trinimth has a 2 piece defense bonus 30% and the 4 piece grants a 25% chance of removing one orb from the target when an ally takes damage. Now this is pretty cool, alright, you know why? The removal of orbs is not a status effect so it can't be resisted, although the activation rate is only 25% 25% chance, but it is not affected by effect hit or effect rest, that's it, it can't be resisted because it's not a status effect, but it's purely RNG, you know, you have 25% chance whether it works or not. Right, um, this is really really cool set. I'm thinking of using it on on Shuzu or something. Like someone in my team probably want to use this so that we can just like fuck people over. Like oh shit man, I curse. I'm trying my best not to curse at all. Like so we can screw people over. 
screw fucks, same thing, right? <laughs> so you can screw people over and, and disrupt their combo, kind of thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Like, like I like this game, you know, there's so many soul sets, so much strategy you can, you can put in, right? I mean, like, we've gone through 25 soul sets so far, you know, like, six more, but still, so much strategy that you can do. Moving on, we have Tree Spirit, which is a two-piece HP bonus, 15%. Four piece increases all healing effects by 20%. Okay. I've tested this. It does not increase your heal by 20%. But whomever has this set on, who, which Shiki has the set on, will receive 20% more heal. Unless you have video proof, I will stick by my words where this set will only work on the Shiki that is equipped with. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people will say like, oh, no, 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 this, this, this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, give me some video proof, show that it works, and then I'll retract my statement. But for now, I've tried it, and I feel like it does not increase any heals to the rest of the people, but only for the person, for the Shiki that has this set, then they will get a 20% extra heal. That's my observation so far. When I think about it, I think uh, early game, pretty usable. Yeah, sure. Next up, we have Claws, another attack based one uh, where the 2 piece set is crit, percent, uh, crit chance 15%. The 4 piece grants a 50% chance of ignoring target's defense by 45% when dealing damage. Sounds pretty cool, right? Ignore defense. Uh, but only ignores defense by 45%. Mm, I think there's not much testing that we've done, I've done on this. So I'm not an expert about this, nor, you know, am I. And, qualified at all to talk about it i think this could be pretty cool but i've had a lengthy conversation with mega shields um well not so lengthy you know we have had a short conversation about him playing with this like he's all into the numbers you know he'll give you this formula that formula so i'll get back to you guys on this you know about the whole defense against like the whole defense reduction or the whole increase of defense against the damage taken i'll probably do like like a like a like a very boring video of me and him talking and dueling and him testing out his units kind of thing right i mean <laughs> i say it'll be boring because like it'll be long as fuck and and like it'll just be full of numbers and stuff but it would be probably be entertaining still because you can then see his units keep wrecking my stuff but yeah we'll probably do something like that in the future i think this set is somewhat usable i just don't like the 50 percent chance of ignoring defense that's it moving on we have Harpy. I mean, this could deal hella damage, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Moving on, we have Harpy, another attack one. 50% um, attack bonus for 2 piece, 4 piece is gain 3 orbs when enemy is KO'd. Not as useful as the extra, like, other attack, attack sets, you know, because all the other attack sets give you more damage, whilst this one just gives you 3 orbs. I mean, Usually you're you're at this stage of the game you're in a in a team comp where you already have like someone that will give orbs ways of gaining orbs and stuff you know like you already have your orb, orb management done so gaining three orbs not really that useful compared to like gaining more damage or putting out a status effect right not sure whether you guys agree with me but yeah moving on we have Fenikusu I'm not sure if I'm saying it right okay but we've got this really nice looking rooster all right two piece is a crit chance 15 percent all right four piece restores hp by 15 percent and increases attack by 15 percent when carrying a target usable somewhat i guess i mean you can only get this from the shop i think i think you can only get this from the shop um same with pearl so i think i think pearl can only be got to, i'm not sure i know fenikusu definitely you can only get from the shop Right? Okay, I'm unsure now. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm unsure. But I'm thinking restoring HP at 15%, increasing attack by 15% when KOing a target. I mean, there's, there's too much conditions there. Like, no, there's only one condition. You need to KO the target, right? Uh, I don't know, usable perhaps, but not for long. There's better, better sets than this. And the better set is here. Oh, cool. Shadow. Uh, two pieces crit 15%, four piece deals an extra 40% damage against units with more than 70% HP. So if you have like an Ibaraki, 
Ibaraki Doji, G6 Ibaraki Doji. You know, you have him like um, either 100% crit and with 250% crit damage and like 7k attack, 8k attack, something like that. He would deal massive, massive damage, you know, if he's your first DPS that moves. So yeah, this shadow set is really cool, really popular, a lot of people use it. Can easily be countered by like Jizo, Soul Age, those kind of things. But yeah, still like one of the most popular attack sets. Moving on, we have Tomb Guard. This is another um another attack set, but I think let me check here. I think you can only buy this from the shop. Yeah, I can only buy this from the shop. Oh, what happened? Oh, my internet. Never mind. Okay, let, let's let's just say that um, this is crit percent, fifteen percent for every one percent HP loss. Crit damage is increased by 0.6 percent. So if you lose fifty percent HP, you gain crit damage by fifty times 0.6, thirty percent. Oh, my math not bad today, right? Math is pretty alright today. But yeah. Um, okay not as useful as you know people would think it is but yeah i think i have to restart the game and we've pretty much gone through all the soul sets so yeah this is zaf signing out then um i hope this video has been somewhat helpful to you if it has do leave a like comment subscribe and if you think i should have put more effort into it also leave it in the comments section I mean, I, I, I don't know how, how else I wanted to do this. It's just going to be like an introduction to all the, the, the different souls that we have in the game. But yeah, this is Zaf signing out then. Till next time, guys.